we're going to talk about doing a reflection using patty paper. A couple things to remember with reflection. Reflection is a flip and we need to be perpendicular. So remember those ideas. Flip and perpendicular. So we start with our patty paper. We have a triangle drawn and we have a mirror drawn. A reflection needs a mirror. So the way to look at a reflection on patty paper is to fold on the mirror. Some people like using a straight edge to do that. So lay the straight edge down the mirror. And there we got our start of our crease. Crease the mirror and trace I missed. So trace, that's why you're supposed to use straight edge. And as you can see, there is our reflection. Kind of looks like the eyes of a pumpkin when we start making our pumpkins. Now the thing about perpendicular, if we were to connect the twins, if this is A, this is A prime, if this is B, this over here is B prime, and if this is C, we have here C prime. So let's connect the twins. So then we're looking at C to C prime. I'll get the other two here. We're always going to be off a little bit in our drawing, but we're usually pretty good. So, perpendicular is this aspect. The lines connecting the twins is perpendicular to the mirror. So I got the mirror running down 90, and 0 to 180 is across the base. Again, there's the mirror. 0 to 180 is across, and that is actually how we will make a reflection on paper, is by drawing that perpendicular line. And also, notice the equidistance. If, for example, A is, let's say, 1 centimeter away, then A prime is 1 centimeter away from the mirror. Let's call this 1.5, which probably is not 1.5. Then this would be 1.5, and we'll actually measure C. If C is 2.5, man, it's like 2.55 away, then its twin will be 2.55 centimeters away. So again, you start by drawing a mirror, drawing a triangle, fold on the mirror, trace, and that is your reflection using patty paper.